The ULSRC election system is the University of Limpopo's online voting system, which enables students to check the voters roll and cast their votes online. To access the system, open a web browser and in the address bar, key in the URL https colon double forward slash ultelections.ul.ac.za, then press the enter key. The system will take you to the landing page. On the landing page, click sign in. On the official signing page, Use your student number as your username. Then use your Kiaka email account password as the password in this field. Important, should you change your Kiaka email account password, the password to the UL voting system will change as well. Proceed to click sign in. We will now check the voters role. To check the voters role, click here. The voters' role will reflect information on the voters' registration status, the cell phone number where a one-time pin will be sent, and faculty details. To check this information, click on Check Now. Ensure that the information in the voters' role is correct. Should you need to change your current active number, interact with the ITS system, otherwise known as online facilities. If and when this information is correct, Click the back button. We are now going to cast a vote. To begin voting, click on the SRC Elections tab and proceed to click Elections. You should be registered for two elections, the SRC election and the faculty election. Proceed to click Select to begin an election. A list of party candidates will appear. Proceed to click Select to choose a party of your choice. Ensure that the party logo and name are correct. Then proceed to click the Vote button. A confirmation message will pop up asking you if you are sure this is the correct party that you want to vote for. If and when you are sure, proceed to click the Vote button. A further confirmation message will request you to key in the one-time pin which at this time will have been sent to your active mobile number. Key in this one-time pin, then proceed to click Vote. You have successfully voted. Select the Close button. Please take note of the message indicating that you have already voted in the election. Now proceed to click Select to vote in the second election and follow the same steps used in the first election to cast your vote.